everybody's talking about the 50th anniversary of John F. Kennedy slaying, and since I've learned a lot about ballistics lately, uh, I gotta tell you, I've wanted to kind of put it to the test. So we're out here at the range, and I wanted to see if using similar guns and similar ammunition as Lee Harvey Oswald, I, as a comparative amateur, would be able to get off the same amount of shots in the same amount of time. Now, unfortunately, I was not able to acquire a Carcino 6.5 millimeter, but it's interesting, the same ad that Lee Harvey Oswald used to buy his 65 millimeter Carcino also contained a couple of other guns that I'm curious as to why he didn't buy. One of which was the Springfield 03-30-06. And David, the Marine. Let me see your war face. You got a war face? Ah! Elderton is once again here to show us the Springfield 03. Yeah, this was introduced in 1903 as a chamber for 30-06. Um, the, the bullet next to it is the 6.5 Italian uh, round that Oswald used. Uh, you can see the, the difference between them, um, and that explains a lot of the, the wound. Um, so it's going to be a little different than what Oswald experienced. It's going to be a little more punch to it, a little more kick to a little, it. A little more kick. Our recovery time is going to be slower than Oswald's was. Um, but if we can approximate it, you know, we've practiced how many times now? Zero? Yeah. That's <laughs> so, but what we see is uh, kind of what we're going to be able to, to get done today. And Oswald, he would he excelled in the rapid fire in the Marine Corps rifle qualification. Um, so it's been a while since I've done that, and I've never done it with a, a bolt action. Mm -hmm. So if we can approximate that with a gun that kicks more, um, I think it's going to be... You know, significant, because some people say that the, the shots just aren't possible in that time frame. This time is 11.2. Here comes the motorcade. Eight 8.82. So that dispels... Time number one. Time number one. And damn near time number two. Pretty much. And that was pretty slow. Three for three. How'd Conley do? Three for three. One right through the heart. Both of them. Well, he'd be reversed. So. Oh, never mind. Well, this one then. How's that? Yeah, yeah there All you right. go. <laughs> this is the first time I've actually shot a Springfield 30 odd six in probably 20 years. Since we did it in uh, under 11 and we did it in under 8, we're going to skip the 8 test and go right to see if I can do it, just as a regular guy, in 5. Five seconds. Are you ready? Ready. Stand by. Which is just under six. I mean, still over five. Yeah. You know, just a little bit. Let's see how you hit. I impress myself. <laughs> <laughs> That's shooting as fast as I can on a gun I haven't handled in years and years without any practice. And you're three for three. Both Oswald times. Oswald was two for three. He was two for three, wasn't he? Now you can argue that he was moving, but if you have a target moving away from you, it's not, not a factor. Conley? through the mid torso, and then the bottom. And also, we're doing this with iron sights. You know, right, uh, no scope. David is a rifle expert. Let's see if he can get off the shots in under five. Are you ready? Yeah. Here comes the motorcade. Five point one two. Let's take away the reaction time. 4.83. 4.83. David could get the job done. <laughs> right through the midsection. And we want to point out that this gun is more powerful, has more of a kick, more recovery time than the actual gun that Oswald used. So I definitely use this as a yes. This could have happened from someone who was trained by the Marines even if they weren't really trained by the Marines. Well, what do you know? 
We got an M1 30 caliber carbine. That was also in the same ad as Lee Harvey Oswald's Carcano 6.5 and the Springfield 03. I wonder why he didn't buy this, if he could have. This is a semi-auto. You think you could get off, uh, the three off in five? I think we can get more off in five. Five. Five and 393 minus your first shot. Seven, eight. So you're just over three seconds for five shots. If he'd have had the three yeah. carbine. I don't want anything to work. No bolt to work. And there we are. Just over three seconds for five kills. Five kill shots. Better group, too. It is. And you would think that if uh, somebody's financing Oswald, they would have sprung for more than a $13 you, rifle. You'd think that, even if it were the mob, even if it were the CIA, even if it were Russian, the Russian underground, or even the Cubans, you'd think they'd at least give him 100 bucks to spend on a rifle. Something. Yeah. You know, the rifle he got was uh, twelve ninety five, plus the scope, brought it to nineteen ninety five before shipping. I got all five in five seconds. Let's see what a rifle expert can do. Are you ready? Yeah. Seven shots in a once one four seven less than yes less than second and a half less than a second ago. <laughs> hmm. Don't you know there was also a thirty thirty. On sale of that same magazine ad. This is a 3840, but it's virtually the same in terms of uh, lever action and what the gun can do. Let's see how that works with the same test. Now, fast can fire five shots. Stand by. Five ninety one total with a five two reaction time, so your total time for five shots was about uh, five five point four. That lever action was a lot easier to work than a bolt. Yep. Well, let's look at the hit. One two three four five. Right on. Ready? Yep. Here comes the motorcade. So this is a gun very similar to, or? Uh, Oswald bought this uh, through another source uh, via mail order um, for $29.95. He spent more on the handgun than he did than the rifle. He did the rifle. Uh, this is very similar to what he had. His had a two inch barrel and wood grips, but uh, Smith & Wesson uh, Victory Model uh, 38 Special. 38 Special, and this is what he killed the officer with. He killed Officer Tippett with this, uh, shot him four times, uh, witnesses saw him do it. Um, and there's no denying it. He had used the same alias to buy both mm -hmm. guns. And then Jack Ruby had his own weapon. Jack Ruby had the predecessor to this one. This is a Colt Texas Special. Uh, his was the older model, uh, but also a 38 Special, and used uh, round nose lead, not the uh, the best man stopper. So what he did is he, he did a contact shot, and what that does, it gets all the uh, expanding gases, you know, expanding mm. inside. Oswald's body. Do you think he knew how to do that or was it just dumb luck? He wanted to make sure that he uh, jammed it in there and mm -hmm. pulled the trigger because he, he's surrounded by, you know, police and FBI yeah. and everything. He knew he just had one, one shot at it, you know, literally speaking. Yeah. 